Minneapolis, Minnesota. What's up, y'all? I hope you guys want to talk about flipping houses, right? Because today I'm working with one of my clients from Minneapolis, and we're going to flip the mother of all houses, man. This house is jerked. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. James Wise here. And what I do, what I do is I help people like you invest in real estate, right? Doesn't matter to me where you live, folks. Today, my client, his name is Mark. He's from Minneapolis, Minnesota, right? But I am market agnostic, okay? It don't matter to me where you live, right? We could make money wherever we need to, right? We don't have to make money where we live. We invest where it makes sense. We live where we want. Now, Mark hooked up with me because we offer turnkey services, right, on an a la carte basis, right? We help you do buy and hold rentals. We do all the boots on the ground work. We help you do Airbnbs, wholesaling, flipping, et cetera, right? And Mark wanted to do some of what we're doing, because he's having some trouble in Minneapolis, right? The housing shortage out there is tough. He's having trouble putting together fix and flip deals, right? Not to mention, he's not a contractor by trade. So he'd like to partner with my team, have us do the on-the-ground work. And that's what we're going to do for you, Mark. Now, today, uh, you actually sent me this property. And this is going to require a big old renovation, right? So if you are a first-time flipper, folks, full disclosure, this is probably not the kind of flip you want to do. You definitely need a trained professional on one like this. So uh, don't go anywhere. We're going to take a quick break, and then we're going to get into the details, go over this on a line-by-line -line basis, show you guys how to put together a rehab budget, show you guys how to determine ARV, go over the whole thing, make you understand what makes this thing tick, and then, of course, the net profit at the end. Let's go. Welcome back, folks. Now, this this one is going to be a big flip. It's a big flip. It's a big house. It's a nice house, and it's going to require a lot of work, right? This is not what I would consider to be an entry-level flip, right? If you're going to be flipping houses, uh, and, like, this is the first foray, this is the first time you've ever, like, thought about flipping houses this is probably not going to be the one uh to start with right like a beginner flip is just a little bit of cosmetic work right this one is is a big one okay uh first things first let's go over uh, where it is, what's going on. The address is 17703 Van Aken Boulevard, Shaker Heights, Ohio. All right, they have it priced at 280 k and that's pretty crazy price, to be honest with you, right? Uh, this is a short sale. Uh, for those of you who don't know what short sales are, they are anything but short, okay? Short sale don't mean this thing going to happen quick. No, no, no. As a matter of fact, it's probably going to drag out six months, 12 months, 18 months. I've seen two-year short sales, folks. They take forever. What it means is the seller is selling short of the mortgage, okay? Seller owes X. And they could only sell the property for Y. And they have to be like, yo, bank, I can't pay this stuff. You're going to take Y because, like, if not, you got to foreclose, right? You're selling short of the mortgage, right? Based on the photos here, I'm going to guess somebody died or is in a home. We'll get into that in a little bit, okay? So I'm guessing maybe 280 k is, like, around uh, what the owner owes the bank, but ain't nobody going to pay that. It wouldn't make any sense to pay that. We'll go over that uh, shortly. But first, let's talk about the market, right? You're flipping houses. You have to understand the market. Market's going to lead you to your ARV. I've positioned this at about 375 k is the ARV. I pulled up comps. Quarter mile radius, right, over the last six months. And I pulled up a bunch of comps. We're looking at about 375 k That's going to be our target. Some sold a little higher, some sold a little lower. When figuring out comps 
for a flip, I like to go conservative, right? You might be able to push it and list it at 399, honestly, but I like to go conservative in my estimates, right? You could always do better, right? You do you do worse, it's going to suck, right? What is going on in Shaker Heights? Where is Shaker Heights? Well, Shaker Heights is a suburb of Cleveland, Ohio, and a lot of rich people live in Shaker Heights, right? Not that he's like a prime example, but like the last guy I could think of that uh, maybe the audience would know uh, that lived in Shaker Heights was like uh, Freddie Kitchens, right? He was the coach of the Browns for like, I don't know, two days or something like that. Uh, he bought himself a house in Shaker Heights, right? You get a lot of doctors, a lot of lawyers, right? It's really close to downtown. You got a, a lot of hundred and something year old big old estates, right? And these big old 100-year-old houses, man, what that means is the rehabs are going to get intense, right? And this is every bit of an intense rehab. But in the Cleveland market, I've graded all the neighborhoods on an A to F scale, and you'll see parts of Shaker Heights are in A, right? So this is an A-grade neighborhood, right? So getting 375 for this house when we rehab, it won't be a problem. But man, this rehab is going to be a big one, right? You got this pool all jacked up. You're going to have to do something with that. So I said, like, you got the wheelchair, the disabled person chair. Uh, it looks like they were like a hoard or some, you know, old person. Maybe they died. Maybe they're in a home. I don't really know. Nothing's been updated, renovated. You got nasty goo water uh, in the uh, sink there. You got some whatever the hell's going on on the microwave. Pretty cool flower wallpaper, though. That's pretty sweet, right? So we need to do... Any and everything with this bad boy, right? This thing is just brutal, right? That's what I'm saying. They might have been a hoarder. Uh, you know, it's just gross. It's nasty. Like I said, this this is going to be a big old rehab, okay? Uh, we're going to need a lot of stuff up in this bad boy. So uh, the renovation budget is going to be high, right? Which is why that purchase price that ask of 280 it just doesn't make any sense, folks, right? So here's what I got, right? For the renovation budget, I'm looking at, and, you know, sit down. This is big, right? This is this is a problem, too, right? I feel like the biggest mistake house flippers make uh, is they don't properly estimate the cost of a renovation. I think people, I mean, that's the biggest mistake, really. Like, people just, like, look at this. And they, they, they believe they can uh, renovate a property for X. And it turns out they're like way off. The price is definitely always higher, right? That's what people do. They, they do the ARV and they usually estimate their ARV too high and their renovation costs too low. No, no, no. Pro tip. Estimate your ARV too low. Estimate your rental costs too high, right? So uh, how about everybody hit a pause right now? What do you guys think it's going to cost to renovate this thing? Let me know. Do do. Dude, why am I just doing the Jeopardy theme song? Like, maybe we can... No, guys, do not do not actually edit that into the video because I'm sure that's copyrighted and I don't want my video demonetized. Scratch that. Do, 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 do. All, right, all right, I assume we're done with that, right? Hopefully, you guys all commented what you think this is going to be worth, right? What the the AR or the uh, <clears throat> what the renovation scope of work is going to entail, right? My number... Hundred sixty thousand two hundred to one hundred seventy nine thousand four hundred. Okay, I think that's what it's going to be, right? And I got it all broken down there for you. We're looking at like painting and patching twelve, refinishing the floors twelve, twenty five in the kitchen. We got four bathrooms here, right? So two we're going to bang out at ten k a pop. One will, uh, the other two will bang out at five k a pop. Roof's going to be about ten. Do the furnace three, another AC three, twelve hundred for the hot water tank, about two k electrical. I'm just throwing a stab at the windows. Uh, from the information I have, I don't even know how many windows are here, but that's a reasonable stab. As far as the yard and the driveway goes, what you have to understand about Shaker Heights is they have a very, very strict point of sale process. Okay, that means when the seller sells a property. City issues violations, and uh, the seller either has to clear them or the buyer has to assume them. So under nor normal circumstances, you'd be flipping this house, and you probably wouldn't want to replace the driveway or do a bunch of concrete work. Uh, 
or even have to like totally redo that pool maybe, right? You might be able to cheap out on some of that stuff, right? Because I have uh, $40,000 for that. But city ain't going to let you, right? They're going to make you do that stuff, right? Because we got like an estate situation, it appears to me. So the seller obviously isn't fixing anything. So the city will be requiring that. By the way, on this one, the uh, seller has not actually had the POS yet. So we don't have the exact amount. But I'm guessing it's going to be about 40 k of exterior stuff. That's why I got those on there, right? So on the low end, we're looking at about 160200 on the high end. 179,400, right? So now we're like, okay, all right. We know our ARV, cool. We understand why we're paying what we're paying, cool. We got a budget of how much our repairs are going to be, sweet. What do we need to offer? How are we going to make money? Well, if we can sell it for 375 uh, with the costs I've already laid out for you, what you want to bid on this the most, right, is probably $121,050, right? That's if you're following the 75% rule, folks. That's a good rule of thumb out there, right? You want to bid 75% of the ARV less your cost of repairs. If you did that, if you got the thing going, you'd probably make... Over 60 grand on this deal, right? It'd come with a pretty big payday, okay? Now, here's the thing. You might look at that and be like, okay, well, you know what? I'd be cool with a 30K payday, so maybe you pay an extra 30K. Maybe you want to come up to 121 or 151 instead of 121. I don't know. That's up to you. But, like, looking at this as a professional house flipper, uh, this is my assessment of it, and I think a nice, safe price where even if you do end up going over your budget, because, dude, this 100-year-old house, there's going to be unknowns, unforeseen. That stuff happens. Maybe the city gets even crazier on that POS, and it's higher than my 40 k for the outside stuff. You know, you leave yourself a nice, bu uh, a nice buffer there with your $121,000 purchase price, right? So that's why I believe the seller going at 280 it ain't ever going to happen. That's totally insane, right? This thing needs every and anything. And the seller, you know, frankly, they're already putting it on the market before the POS. Why would you put it on the market before the POS is done? Clearly, the seller can't do it. So I don't know why the agent is doing that, right? It's it, You're like asking somebody to order food off the menu. Like, yo, what do you want? All right, let me see the menu. No, you can't see the menu. We haven't finished it yet. But what do you want? Well, I don't know. What do you guys cook? Uh, menu's not done yet. When you get the menu, you can see that. But you need to order your food now, right? Like, it doesn't make any sense, right? The POS is obviously going to be huge, right? So from the information I have today, again, conservatively, I think 121.50 is the price you need uh, to bid to try to get this thing done and have a great shot at making a big payday. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.